Yeah, that's definitely a river. A river carved that. Okay, well, what you're looking at there is a gigantic extinct set of cataracts, like you would find at Niagara Falls, but to use Graham's term, wow. writ large. We're looking at a ridge. We're looking east. The tsunami wave that swept down over these four states, one branch of it swept off to the west. This particular branch of it was 400 feet deep when it hit this ridge. And what it did was it spilled over the ridge and down here in the foreground, you see the modern day Columbia River. From the top of the ridge where you see the, the, the agriculture and the landscape down to the rivers, about a thousand feet. Whoa. So you basically have to picture you've got this huge sheet of, of water three to 400 feet deep. It's rushing over and it finds the lowest spot within this ridge and that's where it starts focusing its energy. And as it does, it begins to just strip away the rock. Now what you're looking at here is this cataract complex is about five miles across. And wow. the water came and you see you've got those kind of curved finger lakes at the top. And those tunnels. <clears throat> those are potholes. That's insane. Potholes are formed by underwater turbulence and flood this swiftly moving with this much turbulence you literally have vorticular eddies high intensity high amplitude high energy underwater tornadoes literally <sighs> underwater tornadoes now these underwater tornadoes <laughs> are typically in this case about a half a mile wide oh my god and they're spinning at a high rate of speed and they're right there they're probably 600 feet deep because the water pouring over the ridge is at least 200 and you can see what it's done to the bedrock